Hello and welcome to the Shiny Things. I'm very excited about this unboxing. You asked about it and the minute I saw this watch available for sale, I thought it would be a great addition to my collection. It looked so great on the pictures and my expectations were really high. A bit too high as it turned out. Well, let's open this puppy up and see how it looks for real. Hi and welcome to the channel. If you already subscribed, thank you and very warm welcome back. And if you are new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It does help us to bring you more reviews. Also, the links to where you can find the watch in this video and other watches that we reviewed in the past are in the description box below. I paid almost 95 US dollars for this watch on AliExpress. I believe with coupons and some other discounts you can get this watch for under 90 US dollars or even closer to 80. Also, there is an option for this watch to be shipped from Czech Republic. For European destinations this could be a game changer. If someone gets it from Czech Republic, please let us know in the comments how quick was the shipment. The watch looks pretty much as what I was expecting. Or does it? Did I set my expectations way too high, as I mentioned in the beginning? Well. Let's take a closer look. Let's see what's in the box. Usual Pagani design packaging. Consistency is good in my books international warranty card, user manual and the tag. A small note here, this time I actually did check the user manual. I know, I know, the real men don't read instructions. However, this manual does not cover the GMT movement used in this watch. Not a biggie, but since I paid almost $100 US for this, I would expect a bit more attention to details. First and foremost, is it 40 millimeters? Yes, it is, 40 millimeters in diameter. Okay, big win for Pangani right there. Thank you for not supersizing this one for a change. Lugwitz is 20 mm, lug tip to lug tip is 47.3 mm, and measured with protruding end links is 52.5 mm. This should sit nicely on my 7 inch wrist. Weight of the watch is advertised as 156 grams, and it is exactly what it is. The watch feels nice and solid. This watch meant to have a sapphire crystal, they even put a sticker to remind us about it. I checked it and it is sapphire crystal. Cycler, by the way, is also sapphire crystal, which is very good. Okay, chaptering and quite neatly applied indices on the dial do look good and everything aligns. Brilliant. I also like the blue GMT wording on the dial. However, the blue is quite dark and actually is hardly visible. Not the end of the world, but definitely a shade or two darker than on the product listing pictures. A quick word on the loom, it is there, but not great as usual. I will post the loom shot at the end of the video. Bezel, it looks really good. Ceramic insert, 60 click unidirectional. There is a bit of a play and the bezel action is not the smoothest, even in this price category. However, on a positive note, it aligns with the dial chaptering very nicely and did I mention it looks really good and the ceramic insert is more likely to keep those nasty scratches away. Moving on to the case, good polishing for this price point. Exhibition back case, a bit different from Rolex GMT style, but personally I don't mind. This is not the most eye-pleasing movement, so the decorated rotor is a nice touch to spice things up a little bit. Not to forget, screw down crown and screw down back case, all this contributes to the declared 100 meters of water resistance, so you can take it for a swim. The watch is powered by Minju DG5833 GMT movement. It hacks and hand winds. It feels definitely more refined compared to the ST6 Seagull movement in my another Pagani Death Diver I reviewed recently, so probably not the cheapest movement possible. The crown action is okay, the watch is currently running at plus 2 seconds a day. Bracelet. This one is pretty much the same 20mm bracelet that is used on the Pagani design Daytona Hamash, which I reviewed not so long ago. I will leave the link to that review in the description. And it is a good bracelet, especially taking into account the price point. 
It uses screws rather than pins, which is nice. You just need to be careful and make sure the screws are properly screwed in. Nice machine clasp with a quick extension. This clasp action is not super refined. But before anyone gets disappointed that it is not as smooth as on the Rolex, I think a quick reality check is in order. The Rolex one is a bit more expensive. Yes, just a bit. So, brilliant. All is great then, right? Well, not so fast. Remember in the beginning of the video I mentioned that I set my expectations too high? Well, here is why. The date window. I think if you consider buying this watch, this is something you should be aware of. Let's take a closer look. The date window is really strangely cut out in the dial. There is a weird misalignment with the underlying date ring on the movement and to some extent with the cyclop on the crystal. It is especially noticeable on the 31st of the month, which at certain angle can look as a third. It looks to me that Pagani Design simply took the PD1651 Explorer dial here, slapped the GMT wording on it and reused this in this watch. Hence the wording for Japanese movement is still remains on this dial, even though the movement used in this watch is not Japanese. Look, nothing wrong with reusing parts. This is normally a cornerstone of a good engineering and efficient production. However, these watches use very different movements and therefore chances are that the date window will not align 100%. Well, there is still a lot of wish for the money. And the date window misalignment could be just my luck. And if you already bought this watch and your date window looks better, please let us know in the comments. Well, friends, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos. And of course, hit that like button or the other one. If you feel that way, we appreciate the feedback. Thank you for tuning in. All the best. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video.